Hello Pisces, welcome to Lotus Heart Tarot. I'm so excited. We are jumping into a you and them reading. <clears throat> um, so we're going to get a look at your energy. We're going to get a look at your energy and we're going to get a little peek at the connection itself. All right. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. These are general readings, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Spirit, please show Pisces what Pisces needs to know. What is the energy of the masculine in the Pisces situation? What is the energy of the feminine? Okay. All right, Pisces. So the masculine energy is porcupine spirit, time for a beginner's mind. And then you have um, for the feminine spirit or for the feminine energy, you have vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted. On the bottom of the deck, you have brown bear spirit. Take a time out. Pisces. <laughs> but the good news is that the masculine and the feminine are facing each other, which is a hopeful energy. It's a hopeful sign that definitely does not always happen. Um, I feel, you know, there's this energy of, I, I think I want to start with the feminine um, there's an energy here of someone who it's like, I will let it go when I'm good and ready to let it go. Or when I know that there is no hope left, or when I have exhausted Yeah, when I've exhausted kind of like hope in the situation, then then I'll be ready to to let it go. And, you know, people ask me all the time, like, how do you know when to let it go? How do you know when to, when to just give up on a situation and just release it? And the answer is, I can't really tell you that, but you will know. <laughs> I, I definitely feel that way. Um, you know, and I always tell the story of, you know, one of my very, very, very best friends who I would just, you know, do anything for. Um, she was in a relationship for a couple of years with someone who just wasn't really showing up for her. And everyone was saying, you know, walk away from a situation. You know, all, all of the, her other friends were saying, walk away from a situation. And she was like, what do you think? And I said, I think you'll know. Because here's the thing. You're go you can either regret staying in it too long or you can regret walking away from it before you were ready. But regret is a lower vibrational heavy energy and it's one that we all really do try to avoid. And so when you can come to a place of peace and acceptance with walking away or with letting it go, that's when it's time to let it go, in my opinion. You know, um, I, I don't know everything about everything and certainly this is just me offering this to you the same way I offered it to her. Um, and, you know, things didn't work out for her in that situation and she did move on and she did find someone else. Um, but you know, and, and did she think that she stayed too long? I think she did, but at the same time, I think she was at peace with it because she knew she gave it every shot she had and she could walk away from it knowing that. Um, and so I sense that with the feminine, I feel like the feminine is, is getting really close to the edge is getting really to the place where they're, you know, okay, enough is enough. You know what I mean? Um, the masculine energy that I see here is like, it looks like they're ready to take on a new energy or uh, they're, they're willing to look at things from there. I want to clarify it because this can be someone who's literally coming back in a new energy, but this also feels like someone who's willing to be open-minded and someone who's willing to, um, They may have been very stubborn for a long time. You know what I mean? I, I can't, I will clarify it, right? But it feels like there's some kind of opening up or some kind of cracking open here with this energy of just the, the beginner's mind. The beginner's mind is where we, we just finally acknowledge, like, I don't know everything. I don't have all the answers. I'm curious. I'm seeking. I'm open to learning whatever is out there for me to learn. I'm open to the journey as it unfolds for me in, in front of me. And, um, and you know, I feel like there's a new energy trying to, you know, there's a masculine in a, in a kind of positive, hopeful energy approaching this feminine. So 
We'll see. This could actually even be a new person for some of you. And then on the bottom of the deck, you have the brown bear spirit. And I love this card. You know, the brown bear, you know, hibernates. And, and that hibernation process is, you know, part of its life cycle. It's part of the way that it's like, it has to happen for the brown bear. And, you know, it feels like in this connection, there may have been a time of separation or a time of hibernation, but it feels like it was very purposeful. It feels like it, it's like, it was almost always like intended to be that way. You know what I mean? Like it was almost always kind of written in the stars. It was part of the life experience of this connection. And, um, and I do, the brown bear spirit is the energy of the connection. So I do feel like this is a connection that may be in separation or maybe kind of taking a break or maybe trying to figure itself out here. All right, so let's dive deeper and let's see. We're going to further clarify the masculine spirit first. Hmm. You know... I go through these cards and I separate them out, but I missed one of the her cards in the him. But it's interesting because it's leading and it's like, I feel the masculine is actually looking for a little um, sense of direction or a sign or something from the feminine. Like they're, they're looking to the feminine to give them some kind of, you know, like it's okay to do something here or, you know, yeah, I'm feeling the same way you are. Um... So I'm just going to leave it here. There is this energy of the masculine really sensing that there is a deep soul level connection here. Um, you know, the, the masculine is definitely feeling that, you know, this is not every connection or this isn't, you know, what they have experienced in the past. There is this undeniable pull. I also feel like, um, there is a, a level of friendship here, but this friendship card is also giving me the six of cups and you have this awareness here. And it's like, there is this energy of, I can't stop thinking about this person or, um, you know, whenever something good happens, it's like the first person I want to tell is the feminine or, you know, whenever, whenever I see this thing, it reminds me of the feminine and I want to, I want to share it. Like I, and, and, you know, when you feel this way repeatedly over and over again, or like even on a daily basis, it, there's this energy of, um, becoming mindfully aware if you weren't already that, you know, this relationship is a deeper level connection. And maybe, you know, you were dealing with a masculine that really wasn't, didn't want to see it, wasn't, wasn't really looking for this at the time. And maybe, you know, um, this awareness of man, you know, I can't stop thinking about this feminine is bringing this into focus that this is somebody that I don't really want to be without, or this is somebody that, you know, even when I'm without them, I, you know, they're the first person I want to tell everything to, or they're the first person that I want to see, you know, um, or talk to and, um, I feel like this person, there may have been some kind of delay here in the, in, in coming back around, because I think this person was sort of trying to deny it. You have numbing and return here. And it's kind of this energy of, um, you know, uh, they may have been trying to get over it. They may have been trying to move beyond it. They may have, um, I mean, this can be anything. This can be somebody who, you know, isn't really comfortable having emotions, isn't really comfortable talking about or thinking about or feeling that they're in some kind of higher level, you know, connection with someone that may make them feel a bit out of control or a bit vulnerable or a bit exposed as we have right here. And, um, you know, they may also feel like I don't really know if the feminine wants me back. So I'll just let the feminine lead the way. I'll just let the feminine, you know, kind of, um, the feminine's behavior 
or the feminines. I can't, I'm, I'm not even, it's interesting because for some of you, I literally feel like the masculine is a friend and this masculine is opening their eyes to um, the possibility that this could be something more or something deeper or something beyond friendship. Um, and they may be coming towards the feminine and the feminine may have felt this all along and maybe almost like kind of giving up on the situation or, um, may just be sort of like waiting. It, it's interesting this, this dance here, because I can see it and I can feel it a bunch of different ways, but I feel like overall we have a masculine here that whatever they had to go through, it's like they've gone through and they are kind of in this place of opening up to the idea of the connection or opening up to even trying to go at it a different way. Maybe they feel like, um, the way that they went at it from the beginning or the way that they approached the feminine from the beginning wasn't necessarily their highest and best move. You know what I mean? Um, but there's this openness to really, sort of acknowledge like I don't know everything or maybe even I wasn't really prepared for this or you know um maybe we have one kind of relationship and like I'm starting to like feel that maybe it could be something else um kind of an energy let's dive into the feminine and then we'll get a look at the actual connection itself because there's there's a there's a lot here there's a lot of um, dimensions to this masculine energy. All right. Um, Wow. The feminine really feels like she's going through a lot of transformation and change right now. I think that the feminine at one point was really ready to surrender to the connection or um, even was, I almost feel like ready to, uh, if this is a new relationship, it feels like there's this energy of the feminine really wanting a family or the fem feminine really wanting something solid and stable, something to build on. And almost to the point where there's an energy of almost being willing to sacrifice their standards a little bit, or it's like, um, I, I do feel like there's a new person here for a lot of you. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it because now that I'm looking at this feminine energy and I'm feeling this feminine energy, there's this energy of saying, you know, I've tried to make myself vulnerable to maybe some of the wrong people because I wanted something solid and stable. And I thought, okay, well, this person is here and this person is asking, so maybe I can find it with this person or we can build it or we can make it happen. Even if, you know, there is some red flag energy happening here, or even if it's not everything that I was hoping for, there's this energy of, you know, I can make it work or I can make it work out. And with this anger energy showing up, it's like it, it didn't work out. And on top of it, it has wounded the feminine in such a way where it's harder to even maybe access the vulnerability. You see how the vulnerable card just got kind of buried and you see it's buried by freedom and boss. It's like this energy of, you know what, fine, uh, you know, if, if this is how it's going to be, if this is how connecting with other people is going to be, if this is how I'm going to be treated, if this is how I'm going to be disregarded, dehumanized, dismissed, whatever it is by somebody that maybe didn't even deserve my energy to begin with, then maybe I don't need to be in a relationship. Then maybe my freedom is more precious to me Then maybe 
um, you know, I, I, I have to kind of let go of this idea or this hope of kind of having a family or having something solid and stable. And I just have to be my own boss and I have to be my own master and I have to take care of myself because all I have learned is that, you know, the, the masculines out there are not really willing to show up or they're not serious or they're not, you know, looking for commitment or they're not, um, They're not taking me seriously. And it's like, it's kind of put this wrapper on the feminine. It's like, um, I'm like, I'm literally seeing like a Jolly Rancher wrapper. Like I, um, my sweetness is not accessible. You know, it's wrapped up. I don't know what this is, but you know, take it as it resonates. And so I feel like the feminine is sort of kind of switching in to, there's this seducing energy where it's kind of like, the feminine has sort of hardened or has sort of, um, um, it's like, yeah, I've taken my power back. Yeah. But you know, feminine energy is open. It's receptive. It's, uh, but you know, when it's open and it's receptive and it gets taken advantage of and it gets hurt and it gets abused and it gets misused and it gets mistreated, it closes up, right? That's what everything does. That's, that's, that's the nature of all of nature, right? Um, it's like a clamshell. Boom. You know what I mean? It shuts down. Like I'm under threat. Boom. You know what I mean? Um, and it's that kind of energy. And, and I feel almost like, um, a mourning for, the person that I once was or the person that was able to be open, the person that was able to be receptive. I don't know. Let's dive into the energy of the connection. Um, but I, I feel like there is an open-minded person that has, um, mm. what can you tell me for Pisces here for spirit? Pisces, I'm just going to tell you, I really think that whether you are a masculine or a feminine Pisces, I feel you have new opportunities coming in and I feel that you have a past person that just cannot let you go. And I, I just, I feel that even here, it's like the energy is sort of hard to read because it's switching back and forth for me between you know, like a past person and a new person and the new person energy is actually getting stronger. I can always tell like that the new person is getting closer to emerging into your life because, you know, it'll just be this like, oh, I get like a little hint. I get like a little sparkle of a new person. You know what I mean? And so either for some of you, the new person has already arrived and this connection has already started or um, well, I do think that's true because the energy is getting stronger and we're all on different timelines. So I feel like for some of you, you are already engaging with this new person and I feel like it's hopeful. I feel like this person is open-minded. I feel like, I, I feel like there is, um, it, it's going to take time to establish trust. It's going to take time to really lay the foundation of the connection, but I feel like there is an attraction. There's a chemistry, there's a desire, um, you know, I feel like we're still, I feel like the feminine is still trying to suss out if the masculine really does have commitment on their mind or commitment in their toolbox. You know what I mean? Like if they really are going to, cause a lot of masculines will tell you and, and, and not, I'm not trying to single out masculines here cause feminines will do the same thing. But, you know, like, oh, yeah, I'm looking for something long term. I'm looking for a commitment. I'm looking for someone who tells the truth. I'm looking for someone 
who sees me and who appreciates me for more than just, you know, physicality or more than just, you know, what I have to offer financially or whatever the case may be. Um, but it, it's, you know, we, the, they're not everyone actually means it. Not everyone's actions actually match what they're saying. Right. And we've all learned that kind of the hard way I feel. Um, but I do feel here that there is, there is a new person or at least one new person, honestly. And then I feel this energy of a past person who feels like they really missed an opportunity, who feels like they've never felt so strongly about anyone as they have about this connection. They may have run, but I feel like they're tired of running. I feel like they don't want to run. I feel like they justified running by saying, oh yeah, you know, we want different things. Um, you know, and, you know, this person can't understand me or this person, you know, there's just this energy of like, um, clinging to some kind of justification here of why it's acceptable for me to run. And then, um, kind of running, but still daydreaming, still fantasizing, still feeling the connection with the other person. So like it hasn't gone anywhere. It hasn't, nothing has really, you know, softened it or lessened it or, um, made it easier to live without not time, not distance, not other people, not putting our focus in other places, nothing. Um, And it's like, I feel like if this is a past person, I feel like, you know, there is this energy of not really wanting to miss the opportunity and really fantasizing about it. But I, I don't know what actions this person is taking. You know what I'm saying? I don't see like where they're like, I'm coming back. You know what I mean? Um, but there is this daydreaming, I'm always longing for you kind of energy. Let's dive in with the tarot. Actually, no, we're going to dive in with the tarot and then I'll do that. Okay. Sorry, you guys. I always stay open to the flow and allow myself to be guided while I read. And that's why I keep 5,000 cards on my desk. But, um, Keep in mind these roles are reversible too. If, even if you're a masculine, if the feminine side is what's resonating for you, keep it, take it. That's your side. You know, always listen to your own intuition. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, there's definitely an energy of not wanting to miss an opportunity here um, with the Four of Cups and the, the Seven of Wands. It, it can be an energy of like, okay, I, I will fight for this. I am willing to fight for this. I do want to see you in real life. I do want to make you some kind of offer. I do want a new beginning here with the Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. And like, I will fight to, to not miss out on the opportunity or to not lose this chance. Um, there's a lot of cups here, four cups, three cups, nine cups, um, a lot of cups here. And, you know, um, with the three of cups sideways, I do think that this person, it is weighing heavily on this person's mind, possibly whether or not the feminine has someone else or is involved in someone else, or maybe they know they are, um, or they know they're not, I don't know, but it's like, I don't want that to happen or I don't, um, We can get ourselves into some tricky situations, can't we, as people? I feel like with this Nine of Cups and this Three of Cups, it's like I know what would make me happy, but I don't also want to wish bad on something else. I'm giving it the space to take its natural course here. Um, you know, I don't want to be responsible for the end of a different relationship or I don't want to be, you know, if, if I feel like the feminine is having a good time in life or enjoying their life or, you know, spending time with friends or, you know, doing something that I know is important to them or whatever, it's like, I don't want to be selfish and be the thing that comes in and disrupts that and, and, and then 
have a feminine who's resentful of me for taking her away from something. Um, but at the same time, it's like I do want this reconciliation with the lover's card in the nine of cups. I feel like this person knows what their wish fulfillment is. And I feel like they have discussed this pretty, pretty strongly with the divine. Um, and I feel like they are kind of leaving it to the divine. Um, with this energy, I, I don't, you know, YouTube with its, you know, I don't know what, <laughs> Here's the thing. It's like, I know what would make me happy and I'm just, what would make me happy is this feminine, but I'm, I'm making it very clear, but I'm kind of leaving it up to the divine. If it's meant to be, it will be the divine will bring us together. So even if this is a new person, it's like they have found emotional contentment on their own and they're saying to the divine, okay, I, I have found, I finally found emotional contentment on my own. Like I'm ready for my partner. I am ready for someone who for a soulmate who a spiritual connection that is going to last the test of time, someone who's going to choose me back the way that I'm choosing them. And, you know, if this is an existing connection and that person is engaged, is involved with someone else or is kind of, you know, like, let's say you're friends, right? And maybe you work together, right? And you're going out to the bars and whatever after work or you are you go out to lunch with your friends at work or whatever. It's like there's this group dynamic. And it's like while I may want to, you know, be have a relationship with this person or take this to a deeper level, I also don't really want to disrupt the harmony of this situation and have it not work out. And then, you know, have this feminine sort of be resentful. And that's why I think that leading card, which was the feminine card that was in the masculine deck that we saw, is kind of important. It's like this person may be waiting for some kind of sign or some kind of like um, energy of, I, I also want that too. You know what I mean? Um, now always listen to your own intuition. Don't go running out and being like, I want to be with you. If this, if you feel this is your masculine, you know, read the room, listen to your intuition, you know, follow your own advice. But I feel this energy pretty strongly. You have the page of swords in reverse and judgment in reverse. This is someone from this is like a past energy I feel like where it's like someone who has been spying or someone who feels they've been held at an arm's length distance someone who feels like they haven't really been able to get close enough to the situation to really bring about a reconciliation or to kind of raise it up out of its current condition even though they're willing to fight for it and even though they they don't want to miss the opportunity and even though they are willing to offer something solid and stable it, it's an energy of, I don't want to force this. And I don't, I, there's also this energy uh, pretty strongly of like, I don't want to make the feminine feel uncomfortable either, or feel like, like uh, forced upon by me or something like that. I don't know. It's actually, it's quite a relief to feel this, this feeling in this reading. Um, but there's a part of the masculine with the knight of swords that is just like dying to go rushing in and speak their truth. And like, solve the situation and just like take it into their own hands and make it happen. But I feel like this is a masculine who's really focusing on finesse and is really trying a new way and is trying maybe to not behave in ways that they behaved in the past or to not maybe take the same route they've taken in the past. There's an energy of like finesse and sophistication and, um, um, kind of, enlightenment or awareness here that I feel like, um, didn't, didn't, um, didn't exist before or didn't is it's something new. It's a novice kind of energy. It's like, I'm not totally quite sure what I'm doing here with the page of pentacles, um, but it's like, I am here, I am willing to offer this, or I am, you know, hopeful that I will have the opportunity to offer this. I don't want to miss the opportunity. So I'm not trying, I, I'm, I'm not burying my head. I'm ready to fight. You give me the sign or the signal and I'm ready to come in there and I'm ready, I'm ready to do this thing. But like also at the same time with the page of swords in reverse and judgment in reverse, it's kind of like, I don't want to force a new beginning or I don't want to like, um, 
take such a strong action that it kind of ruins what is already there possibly let's um let's dive into the feminine's tarot Man, this feminine is tired. This feminine is like, you know, she's got love to give. And all she wants is a soft place to put it, you know. Um, she, she just wants to, uh, with the Queen of Cups, the moon card here, it's like, you know, it's a very Piscean energy, but it's like, I know that the love I have to give is valuable. I know that it's worth a lot. I know that the right person will appreciate it. And all I want, and it's almost like an exhaustion kind of energy, I feel. I don't know if the, because the moon is like at night or whatever, but it's this energy of just like, I'm spent. I, I, I've been holding on to this, this love that I just, it's like, I want to plug in. I just, I want a soft place to fall. I want a place where I can love and be loved freely and without fear and without manipulation, without confusion, without all the things that I've experienced in the past, without someone who doesn't really know what they want, someone who's unwilling to choose the path, someone who makes me question my own worth and leaves me feeling imbalanced and shaken um, because they don't know what they want or because they the only way they know how to love is is manipulation and is kind of this like five of swords feeling which is like somebody there is always going to be a winner and there's always going to be a loser and I have to be the winner and you can't win that means you can't win that means you always have to be the loser and it's like no like what the hell kind of relationship is that who's signing up for that nobody who dreams about that absolutely no one so like you know it, but it's like this is what I keep experiencing this is like every time I say oh okay this might be what I've been looking for it leads to regret it leads to another spilled cup it leads to you know somebody trying to mess with my brain or you know somebody trying you know maybe not even trying but somebody's own mental confusion and their own jacked up thought of what love is jacking me up you know what I'm saying I mean I just I feel this like I'm exhausted kind of energy of just like I keep trying I keep trying I keep putting it out there I just want to plug in I just want to love somebody and I just want to be loved unconditionally with that queen of cups and it's like I all I keep finding is people who you know they, they say right the right person finds you in pieces and takes you to a place of peace the wrong person finds you in a place of peace and takes you to pieces. And that's what I feel like, Pisces. There's just this energy of I keep finding Mr. Wrong and I keep ending up in pieces and having to put myself together. And it's all based on kind of someone else's idea of what a relationship is. There's winners and losers. There's manipulation. There's confusion. There's never getting a straight answer. There's, you know, well, I've been hurt, so you know, this is the only thing I know, or, you know, I'm wounded, so I can't commit to you. I can't give you what you need or what you want because I'm broken. And it's like, well, you know what? I'm willing to take on that project or I'm willing to, to kind of give you a chance. And then it's like a regret every single time with that five of cups in reverse. It's like, I don't want any more regret. I don't want to carry this, this around anymore. I don't want to continuously experience people who are juggling me with other things or are not prioritizing this relationship or you know their own imbalance leads me to find imbalance and and you have this this hermit energy which is this energy of the boss the dominant the freedom energy that we saw in those cards to begin with with the feminine's energy of like maybe I'm just better off alone 
You know what I mean? Or like maybe, maybe I'm, I'm, you know, not, I can't, um, wow. And also you guys, I don't know why, but this just hit me like a ton of bricks, like boom, um, Virgo full moon. And we just had that Virgo full moon and you have the full moon or you have the moon card with the hermit card. I don't know. That may be something that's really breaking something open for you. That may be significant, a significant marker of change for you. Um, but I also feel with the hermit approach, approaching the queen of cups and the queen of cups having her back turned with the moon card here, the, the, the feminine may have someone coming toward her who has taken a siesta and really thought about what it is that they need, um, and what it is they really want, you know, and, um, they may be approaching and they, the feminine may not even see it. And especially, you know, with the knight of swords on the bottom of the deck. Wow. Um, with the ace of cups underneath it. Yeah, I think, you know, the feminine is not playing. The feminine, you know, we have, you know, the page of cups on the bottom of the deck. We see the page of cups here. And I do think this masculine is willing to offer something pretty solid and stable. And I think the feminine is only willing to consider something that feels pretty solid and stable. Underneath that, we have the hermit. And underneath that, we have the eight of pentacles. So it's kind of like, if you have worked on yourself, if you're ready for a commitment, if you are ready to come at me with a reasonable offer here, then I may listen. But otherwise, I think I'm holding on to my, to my, I, I understand the value of what I have to give and gosh, I would really love to give it, but I'm also safer, you know, on my own, holding on to it, recognizing the value and the worth of it rather than giving it if I'm giving it to the wrong person or I'm giving it to someone who ultimately is going to leave me feeling imbalanced and in regret and, you know, having to sort through my mind, having to process something and figure something out and go to the ends of the earth to try to understand what the hell just happened back there. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I feel the energy of wanting to cuss a lot in this feminine's energy. <laughs> Take it as it resonates, guys. All right, so let's see. What's up with the connection here, Spirit? What can you show me? I feel like you've got a masculine and a feminine who are both you know, they both dealt with a lot. They both dealt with, they both have gotten the short end of the stick in different ways at different times and different places with different people, you know, um, with this anger at the bottom of the deck. And it's like, I don't want to be mad. I don't, I don't, I want to be at a place of peace. I want to be at a place of acceptance. I want to be, you know, I, I want to be with someone who appreciates me, who sees me, who respects me, who honors the connection, who is, you know, fully ready to take a leap of faith. Um, I want to soar. I'm tired of dealing with people who are self-sabotaging. I'm tired of dealing with people who haven't sorted their own stuff and are spewing it onto everyone else instead of looking at it, instead of addressing it, instead of getting to the bottom of it. Um, there is someone, there is a strong magnetic pull pulling two people together here, whether that is a new person or whether that is this past person or whether it's both. There is a strong desire happening here between two people with that magnetic pull. It is reciprocal. It is um, something that both people are, I, I don't know why I feel like saying are helpless to, but that's what I feel like. And there is this opportunity to really be happy in a relationship with the sore card here. We got to leave behind these energies of the past and whether or not that's the past person you know, working through their own anger issues and their own self-sabotaging behavior so that they can take a leap of uh, faith here with this risk card energy and they can be vulnerable and they can show up, um, then I feel like they're doing that. If this is an energy of a new person, it's like they're just looking for someone who is whole and um, isn't... Um, like trying to escape some type of sadness or trying to, um, with this self-sabotaging card, it's like, 
someone who's emotionally wounded, who's trying to fill their own emotional wounds with someone else's energy. It's like, I don't want to go in there and do the deep dive and look and see what's going on. So instead I just try to, yeah, it's like an energy vampire type energy for sure with the anger and the self-sabotage. And it's like, I'm tired of dealing with those relationships that are imbalanced and that leave me feeling imbalanced and that leave me feeling worse off or having been in them. You know, I, I, there is this energy of some kind of opportunity coming in and it could be with a past person or it could be with a new person here, Pisces, where it, there is an opportunity to really take a leap of faith and see what happens for sure. All right, Pisces, I'm going to get you some cards on dealing with each of the elements here. For Pisces, dealing with the water sign. For Pisces, dealing with the water sign. Can I get one more? Pisces, dealing with the water sign. You're getting the thought of you with someone else drives me crazy. I totally got that with that three of cups energy. Um, I feel like I don't know who I am anymore. Being apart has been more difficult than I can accept. I know we've been together in past lives. I recognize you. You were never a stranger to me. If you're dealing with a fire sign, Pisces. I still feel connected to you, but I've waited too long to reach out. Is it too late for us? I wish I could take back the hurtful things I said. It was wrong to take out my frustration on you. I'm working on myself so I can give you the love and the relationship you deserve. I wasn't honest with you about my feelings at the time. If you're dealing with an earth sign... I wonder if you still think about me. How do you feel about me now that you've had time to reflect? I've committed to someone else because they don't challenge me. My spirit is always with you. Can you feel me? Do you still love me too? I hid my true self from you because you challenged me to expand. Wow. Talk about someone who is... All right. <laughs> no judgment. If you're dealing with an air sign, it's easier being with someone from my world. I'm trying to move on, but thoughts of you still linger and I can't control them. Our love was too intense for me to handle. I needed to break away and the distance between us is killing me. I long to hear your beautiful voice again. You got people in all different stages of working through their issues here. And Pisces, honestly, I truly feel like either your past person is going to get their act together or you're going to be gone because you definitely have someone coming in. You definitely have, there is a new energy here, even whether you're masculine or whether you are feminine, there is someone here who wants to connect with you. These two cards are looking at each other. There is someone here who is looking at you or will be looking at you as, you know, a really, you know, viable companion here. So, um, gosh, guys, this is what I have for you right now. We'll look again at these energies. We'll do another reading like this in a couple of weeks and we'll see what's going on and what's changed and what's happening. Um, but for now, this is what I see. I definitely, you guys definitely have, um, new opportunities coming in all over the place. I, and I feel you just ready to leave behind regret and ready to leave behind, you know, anything that's not showing up in the right energy and you are very intuitive and I do think you will know and, um, you will listen to that. I definitely feel that. All right. Until next time, you guys, I send you off with all my very best. Always, always, always. If this reading resonated, please let me know by liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, um, any and all of it. I do really appreciate it until next time, guys. Bye-bye.